Alexis Aguero was a Nicaraguan professional boxer who competed from 1968 to 1995 and later became a politician. He was a three-weight world champion, having held the WBC featherweight title from 1974 to 1976, the WBC super featherweight title from 1978 to 1980, and the WBC lightweight title from 1981 to 1982. Additionally, he held the Ring Magazine lineal featherweight titles from 1975 to 1977, the Ring Lightweight title from 1981 to 1982, and the Lineal Lightweight title in 1982. In his later career, he challenged twice for the Light Welterweight World titles both times in famous fights with Alan Pryor. Aguero has regularly been cited as one of the greatest boxers of his era, having never lost any of his world titles in the ring, instead relinquishing them each time in pursuit of titles in higher weight classes. After his retirement from boxing, he became active in Nicaraguan politics and in November 2008 was elected mayor of his native Managua, the nation's capital city. The Ring Magazine has ranked Aguero as 20th on their list of 100 greatest punchers of all time, while the Associated Press ranked him as the world's best junior lightweight of the 20th century. He was named one of the 20 greatest fighters of the past 80 years by Ring Magazine. Early, in, early life and amateur career. Aguero was born April 19, 1952. His father was a shoemaker. Aguero had a troubled childhood growing up in abject poverty in Managua. When he was five years old, his father attempted suicide. At the age of nine, Aguero ran away to work in a dairy farm. When he was 13, he immigrated to Canada to provide for his family. Aguero was constantly involved in street brawls throughout his teenage years. It, but it wasn't until his sister Marina, one of Alexis's seven siblings, married a boxer that young Alexis took an interest in the sport. Aguero's brief amateur career saw him compile a 58-2 record. Boxing career. Featherweight. Aguero on October 26, 1968, trained by former boxer Miguel Angel Rivas. After winning his first three fights, the explosive thin man suffered an unavenged first round KO loss followed by another split decision loss. Aguero would then win 29 of his next 30 bouts over the next five years, including a win over Jose Legda. Eventually, Aguero earned World Featherweight Championship bout against experienced WBA champion Ernesto Marcel. The fight took place in Panama, Marcel's home country. The young challenger lost a 15-round unanimous decision in the champion's retirement bout. Months after Marcel's retirement, the WBA featherweight title was won by former unified bantamweight champion Ruben Olivares. Undaunted, Aguero put together another streak of wins and found himself contending for the WBA featherweight, this time against Olivares. In the latter's first defense. The fight took place at the Forum in Inglewood on November 23, 1974. After Olivares had built a small lead on the judges' scorecards, Aguero and Olivares landed simultaneous left hooks in round 13. Olivares' left hand caused a visible expression of pain on Aguero's face, but Aguero's left hand caused Olivares to crash hard against the canvas. A few seconds later, Aguero was the new featherweight champion of the world. Aguero's first defense came against Venezuelan featherweight champion Liano Hernandez. Once again, Aguero fought in enemy territory as the fight took place in Caracas. Nevertheless, Aguero made short work 
of his challenger, stopping him by technical knockout in the eighth round. His first defense in Nicaragua was against Roberto Riasco. Aguero dominated once again, this time stopping Riasco in the second round. Next up for Aguero would be Royal Kabayashi, a highly touted Japanese challenger who was undefeated until then. After a tense, close start, Aguero's relentless body punching broke Kabayashi halfway through the fifth round, with the challenger dropping to the canvas twice. Junior Lightweight After a successful fourth defense, Aguero moved up in weight to challenge World Junior Lightweight Champion Alfredo Escalera in Bayamon Pareco in what has been nicknamed the Bloody Battle of Bayamon. By many, Escalera had been busy champion with 10 defenses and he had dethroned Kaniaki Shibata in two rounds in Tokyo in what some experts, including ring writers, consider one of the most brutal fights in the history boxing history. Escalera had his eye, mouth, and nose broken early, but was rallying back in the scorecards when Aguero finished him once again in the 13th round. His reign as junior lightweight saw him fend off challenges of Escalera in a rematch held at Rimini, Italy, as well as former future world champion Bobby Chacon, future two-time world champion Rafael Bazooka Limon, Ruben Castillo, future champion Rolando Navarati and Diego Acala, beaten only one round. Aguero suffered many cuts around his face during his second victory against Escalera. The on-site doctor wanted to hospitalize, but Aguero had to fight, fight a flight to catch from Rome the next day to return to Nicaragua, and he boarded a train from Rimini. The doctor decided to travel with Aguero and perform plastic surgery on Aguero's cuts with Aguero wide awake. Lightweight. After eight successful title defenses, Aguero then moved up in weight again, and this time he had to go to London, England to challenge world lightweight champion Jim Watt. Watt lasted 15 rounds, but the judges gave Aguero a unanimous 15 round decision, thus making him only the sixth boxer to win world titles in three divisions in the second Latin American after Rufa Benitez had become the first by beating Maurice Hope one month before to do it. He had to face some less known challengers in this division, one exception being famous prospect Ray Mancini, known as Boom Boom Mancini. Mancini and Aguero engaged in a fight that was later showcased in a boxing video of the best fights of the 1980s, and Aguero prevailing by stoppage when he decked Mancini in round 14. After the fight, Aguero gained many American fans when he embraced Mancini and told a CBS television audience that he would do anything to help Mancini's father, who at the time was dealing with illness. Andrew Gannigan proved to be one of Aguero's toughest challenges as he dropped Aguero in the second round. But ultimately, the defending champion prevailed by stopping Gannigan in the fifth round. Junior Welterweight Battles with Aaron Pryor Aguero successfully defended his lightweight title four times after defeating James Bubba Buscemi by six-round stoppage. Aguero decided to move up in weight class again, and on November 12, 1982, he tried to become the first world champion in four different categories, meeting the heavier and future Hall of Famer, Aaron Pryor, in what was billed as the Battle of the Champions in Miami, Florida. Aguero was stopped in the 14th round. The fight sparked controversy, however, because Pryor's trainer, Panama Lewis introduced a second bottle water bottle, which he described as the bottle I mixed after round 13, leading to speculation that the bottle was tainted. The Florida State Boxing Commission failed to administer a post-fight urinalysis 
adding to speculation that the bottle contained an unsanctioned substance. Lewis claimed at various times that the bottle was filled with peppermint schnapps or Perrier to help Pryor deal with an upset stomach. It was later revealed in an interview with former Lewis trained boxer Lewis Resto that Lewis would break apart antihistamine pills used to treat asthma and pour medicine into the bar or into the water, giving Lewis fight a greater lung capacity in the later rounds of a fight. Others say that there was a mixture of cocaine, honey, and orange juice in the bottle. A rematch was ordered this time in Las Vegas. Aguero was KO'd in the 10th and stated after the fight, I'm not going to fight anymore, I quit. But he later returned to the ring for financial reasons. Comeback and post-retirement. During the 1980s, Aguero briefly fought with the Contras in his native Nicaragua. But after a few months in the jungle, he retired from the war. He then attempted several comebacks into boxing during the late 1980s and early 1990s and had some success, most notably a fourth round stoppage of former world junior welterweight champion Billy Costello in a 1986 televised bout that put him in position for yet another shot at the junior welterweight title. He retired for good in 1995 with a record of 82 wins, 8 losses, and 65 KOs, along with the recognition of being one of the sport's most universally respected fighters among fans, experts, and boxers. Aguero was elected to the International Boxing Hall of Fame in 1992. In 2008, he was honored by being selected as Nicaragua's flag bearer at the opening ceremony of the Beijing Olympics. Aguero was an avid breeder of cats and had several articles published in Cat Fancy magazine throughout the 1990s. He remained friendly with his old rivals, Alfredo Escalera and Aaron Pryor, and both pairs of friends saw each other several times until Aguero's death. Alexis Aguero was voted as the greatest junior lightweight ever by the Houston Boxing Hall of Fame in 2014. The Houston Boxing Hall of Fame is a voting body composed entirely of current and former fighters. Political career. Aguero was actively involved in Nicaraguan politics with the Sandinista National Liberation Front, the same party against whom he took up arms in 1980 and 2004 was elected vice mayor of Managua. Amid accusations of vote, vote rigging, Aguero narrowly won the mayoral election in Managua on November 9, 2008. Elections against the candidate of the Constitutionalist Liberator Party, Eduardo Montalegre, who had come second to Daniel Ortega in the 2006 presidential election. Aguero's margin of victory was narrow as he attained just 51.30% of the vote. Aguero's death. Aguero died on July 1st, 2009. Apparently, shooting himself through the heart in Managua. The National Police confirmed the death shortly afterward and the death was ruled a suicide following autopsy. Those close to Arguello affirmed that he was becoming progressively disenchanted with the Ortiguistas and the Sandinista government and was planning an imminent departure from the Sandinista political party. Alexis Arguello's professional boxing record stands at 85 fights, 77 wins, and 8 losses, with 62 wins coming by Naco.